Hello, everyone. My name is Dio Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron podcast, and we're coming to you live from the Denver System Open and uh, super excited to be bringing you this round six. Uh, my co-host is Asa Graf of the Back to Dials X-Wing podcast. And you're absolutely right, Dion. We have a high stakes match here. Both of these players, Nick on your left and Dwayne on your right, are four and one. So the winner of this goes to tomorrow's top cut. On your left, we have a variant of a list that we saw earlier today. Darth Maul and some separatist mooks. Uh, we have Darth Maul just with Hayton Kraken, Watt Tambor, Trade Federation drone with energy shell charges, and then two Trade Federation drones with Discord missiles. We have buzz droids on the table. That's right. So it's an interesting thing on Darth Maul here. I think Nick has distilled that decked out Darth Maul that we saw earlier right down to the essentials of the things that make him work with this list. Hate, keep that force up. Kraken to keep those uh, those energy shell charges firing all the rest of those uh, all the rest of those Excuse me, what am I trying to say? D Vulture droids Dis just, just... Discord <laughs> missiles, baby. Two then, sets of Discord missiles. Those are the your buzz droids. Yes. So let's talk about Dwayne's list over here because we have some very interesting stuff. Yeah. When I saw Captain Nim, I about had a small heart attack right there. <laughs> but uh, this is Scum Nim, and he is completely different. He's got dorsal turret and veteran turret. Gunner, we have Tarani Kolda in the Kimogila with cluster missiles and a shield upgrade. And then uh, Jakku Gunrunner with dead man switch. And then a hired gun with dorsal turret, veteran turret gunner, R4, seismic charges, and a shield <laughs> upgrade. There we go. We got got, got some of the, that clean mountain air oxygen for you there. There we go. That breath. Um, yeah, so when I saw this matchup here, I was like, I try, actually tried to get Dwayne on stream uh, earlier in the day. His opponent actually said no, and this is a perfect opportunity to, uh, we got, not only do we get Captain Nim in a skirt, which is something that you actually don't see pretty often. We got Tarani Kolda, which uh, is really good in swarm meta. Yeah. Right, because his ability affects each ship in, in his bullseye. bullseye. Uh, we'll see if that ends up taking into effect. So those of you who aren't familiar with its ability, it reads, after you perform an attack, each enemy in your bullseye suffers one damage unless it removes one green token. All that pile of Kraken calculates just gone or... You take damage, absolutely. And and he's al he's also got another great anti swarm play in there in the cluster missiles. Oh yeah, cluster missiles especially can be very very good against Trade Federation drones because there's not a lot that is required to smash a Trade Federation drone. Although we do see return of the pink drone. Yes. <laughs> there number two. Let's see if he can pull off the same impeccable performance that oh. we saw last round. Oh yeah, so we'll uh, we'll see what happens there. I'm also curious to see if Nick keeps his uh, his Trade Federation drones in formation with those cluster right. missiles as a threat. I'll be honest, this is the first time cluster missiles has been on stream in Second Edition for Gold yeah. Squadron. So I haven't actually got to see anybody use it. We'll see what happens. It is a fantastic tool against those against those Trade Federation drones. Basically nothing else because it doesn't really do a lot of damage against Tie Fighters. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just it's just not accurate enough to, to hit Tie Fighters in a meaningful way. But these drones are, are definitely a uh, are definitely threatened by those Kraken. Of course, keeping those three calculate tokens around as we go back to dials into round two. These players have gotten a small time extension because we got started a little bit later than the rest of the group. So if you hear them call time or timeout, uh, we have just a couple more minutes. I saw a correction. Uh, yes, L-E-H-M-A-N. All right. Perfect. Thank you. We had a 50% chance. Somebody tells us, uh, somebody told you that he brought Cluster Missiles three time on stream on Rhymer in Philly. Oh, you're right. Never means three times Derelict. in Philly. Derelict, yes. D don't Never. you, come on. There's, there's our, our translations coming back. Never oh, yeah. Three the, times uh, in Philly. I remember, I, re I remember this. Lots and lots and lots of it's, hot it's, cluster missiles. It's kind of like I've streamed like hundreds of games. Oh. And they all kind of <laughs> blend together. together. <laughs> well, let's look at these engagements here as Dion is putting the pole up on the stream right there. Uh, Darth Maul coming in from the center of the uh, center of the pack. Watt Tambor from the top. Uh, Watt looks like he's angling down to maybe try to get away from some of this scum beef coming right at him. The uh, the there it is. The Trade Federation drones themselves. Uh, coming down from the bottom, likely to be taking in a turn uh, right up around this gas cloud, mm -hmm. the Chili Pepper, uh, <laughs> here in just one moment. Um, as as our smart viewers clearly see that this is uh, bacon, let's go ahead and 
<laughs> moving to talking about Discord missiles and those buzz droids. Yes. Um, I'm curious to see if Nick uses it in this matchup. I know that once they're out there, they can get super annoying when there's... I mean, he, Nick's got five ships on his side. Do you yeah. really want to take the time to, to shoot off these uh, these buzz droids while you're you're trying to deal with all this other stuff? So uh, we'll, we'll see. That's what the buzz droids are. They're extremely annoying, but they can put some pretty consistent damage in uh, really unexpectedly, especially when shields start to drop. Uh, with that said, though, all of Dwayne's ships have barrel roll on their action bar, mm -hmm. and that can be a very useful tool to roll those Discord missiles off because they don't follow you nope. when you barrel roll. They don't necessarily follow you when you uh, move either, only if you overlap them yep. once again. So the intelligent deployment of those buzz droids is going to be really, really crucial, I think, to, to Nick winning this game because they cost more than the energy shell charges that they are replacing. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things that we were talking about before this match got started is the subtle differences here between Nick's list um, and I can't remember his name. Good Lord. Mm -hmm. uh, but whoever we saw earlier in the, in the day with the, uh, with the separatist list, with the separatist swarm. So our well, British friend. Uh, yeah, our British friend. Our Br <laughs> Daryl. Daryl, there you go. Daryl Granger there. All righty. Jakku Gunrunner moving up slowly and focusing. Here are two banks from those drones. Yeah, and, and Nick going here, you know, choosing to have... Let me, let me back, back this up. Don't we've worry, seen, I do the same thing. We've seen... Um, Lately streamed on Gold Squadron, a lot of people bringing five to six of these drones mm -hmm. in different swarms. This is a new variant that I haven't seen. Having Darth Maul as an option, not super kitted out, but having Crack it to keep three of those calculates out there, a.k.a. all of the vultures. Right. Um, you got basically just hate and say, hey, this chassis is really good all by itself. Mm -hmm. let's, let's make it do some work. And then you got Watt. Watt is just there. To, he's, he's a three-die attack. He's there to fill out the list. I and think he is actually going to put in some, some serious hurt, though, uh, once he starts firing. There comes the Y-Wing. Two bank down towards the bottom of the board with the turret facing forward, ready to fire that uh, veteran turret gunner twice in a round. He's going to go for the target lock. Start getting those re-rolls out there. Mm -hmm. Because of the target lock, not because it's Drea, by the way. Yeah, these are all, these also. this is the Y-Wing that also has... Uh, all the seismic charges on, on it that Nim can hold until the opportune moment. Mm -hmm. So probably will be dropped by this by this rock, I'm uh -huh. guessing, and just uh, just like oh, we'll we'll hold that for now. I I think I believe that would be uh, Trade Federation drone orange. I can't really see yeah, from that he's, exact he's literally angle at the perfect <laughs> angle where we can't see it. But yeah, we can we can go from the top and you can see. Yeah, there, there it is. Trade orange. Federation drone orange has the target locked down on him. Uh, Watt Tambor angling in towards the bottom of the board. Now, Watt's ability allows you to uh, re-roll one attack die for each calculating friendly ship at range one of the defender. So if those drones are swarming people, he gets some modifiers on his attack. Mm-hmm. And he's going to be barrel rolling backwards. Getting a little bit more range from the scum aces up mm -hmm. at the top. I mean, he was kind of in a in a tough spot, especially if Tarani and Nim and the quad jumper come in and try to yep. eat, some, eat him up. Oh, sorry, quad jumper already moved, but of uh, Tarani and Nim. Barrel roll linked that to a focus. And oh here no! Here comes Tarani Kolda. It doesn't have a zip code spot. Ooh, that's bad. Does it really? Oh that, dear. That, that, that. A three bank from Tarani Kolda coming. I'll in be there. back, guys. <laughs> it seems like we have right away a bullseye on Watt Tambor. There it uh, is. Possibly on Maul as well, depending on where Maul goes. We can take a look at that from the overhead as well. That's definitely a bullseye on the Watt. Great, great maneuver. Just going to go ahead and take the target lock onto Watt Tambor. Now, if he can, now if here's the thing, if he can, uh, if he can get cluster missiles off onto Watt and Maul, and has both of them in his bullseye, then his ability is going to trigger against both of them twice in one round. That would be absolutely devastating and a fantastic maneuver. Uh, Captain Nim following suit, three bank down towards the bottom of the board. He's got that dorsal turret, I believe. That is also pointed. Looks like he's pointed actually rearward. Although I can't exactly tell. 
if only he was using some easy to read curled pot creatives turret indicators turret arc indicators mm -hmm. yeah he's got the uh he's got the the target lock indicators but he doesn't have the arc mm -hmm. on there. might might have lost it along the way now, if you wanted to get some for, some of those for yourselves, Dion, how do you do that? Well, you can go to our sponsor website, curledpaulcreatives.com. They are on Etsy. Oh, Marth Mall coming in here. Use that coupon code DENVER19 for 20% off. Darth Maul getting in the business, though he is also on the business end of three shots right now. Their target locks are all down on what, though? I mean, so it's, uh, I mean he, do you he's really want to ignore? <laughs> I don't know if you want to ignore that, uh, that uh, Darth Maul sitting in front of your... Your ship that you're going to get uh, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 dice into? I, I, yeah, I might I'd just go take those shots. Take those unmodded shots. You got Watt later. Yep. You're gonna and, get you'll, and you'll still get the Tarani trigger off on mm -hmm. Watt. So. Uh, here comes a Discord missile. Start of the engagement phase. We have a Discord missile fired from Oof. Orange... Trade Federation drone right into that Y wing. Go ahead. Right in front of, excuse me, that Y wing. Mark that off. You said that was orange, right? Orange. Done. All right, here we go. Time to time to do some pew pews here. Mm-hmm. Dwayne deciding on a target. Checking the agility numbers. And I would agree with you. I think that uh, Maul is the right target here. You've got a lot of dice coming into him. Mm -hmm. uh, he's only got one agility. Now, does Tarani's ability uh, trigger on any attack, right? Not just a yeah. primary. So that um, No, it's a primary attack. It's just a primary? Yeah. Uh, it's just no, an attack. No, permanent, permanent attack. So off that yeah, dorsal yeah, right. turret. Well, no, he's not the one with the dorsal turret. Yeah, he's it's, a Tarani. He's me. You're thinking about the missile. He has, he yeah. does have a missile. That's but clusters, more. See, that's clusters, more. clusters are one to two. So I, if I was Tarani, I would fire the clusters at Watt and at Maul. You, so get, that that, was you one, get that bullseye trigger twice. One shield here. This is from Captain Nim. Two hits from the dorsal turret. One hit from the dorsal turret. That's another shield? Mm-hmm. Here comes Maul. Going into the quad jumper, I would guess. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. They agreed. If it's Roll on, in there. Hit and a crit. And that crit's going to stick. And that was into the quad jumper, so that will be a crit. Fuel, Fuel leak. leak. That's a bad one to start with. And now Maul could put down the double tap. He still has some force. Uh, it looks like he's going to dump the two force. And shoot Nim, yep. Shoot at Range Captain one. Nim. Absolutely the right call. Always be double tapping. Oof. Oof. Although with dice like that, I'd just spend that force. Let's try to get one. No, no. Yeah, he's going to take some damage. No, not, no. Get that hate back. And he is going to leave that and get nothing. He would have got nothing anyway. So yeah. I guess I, you are vindicated. <laughs> <laughs> Flamsome Figs, thank you so much for your sub. I appreciate you. And you. Yes, you at home as well. All of you are amazing. There's the cluster, cluster missiles coming missiles. in from Tarani Kulda. Three dice spending that lock. Mm -hmm. Why not? It's free. Boom. Uh, just one hit. Just one. Evade. One evade. Now here's trigger. where Tarani's ability is going to trigger. So now Watt has to remove that green token or else he does take one damage. Yep, there He's it is. He's going to do that. But the second, arm, the second cluster missile will go in against Darth Maul and then trigger his ability again. Yep. And with no green token to remove. That's going to be a damage. One. Just one crit on the Maul. It will Takes go through. a crit. There you go. Shields. Hate will trigger and get a force back. And then Tarani's ability triggers one more time. Maul, or excuse yep. me, Watt Tambor takes one damage. Matt, thank you so much for your donation. Calling a judge over to confirm that interaction. I do believe that is correct. Yeah, it is. Watt will take one damage. 
Just getting the judge in to confirm that. Oh, thank you for the super chats. So let's knock down uh, one shield off a of watt. Yep. There it is. Uh, that was oh, sorry, wrong yeah, one. Wrong one. What? 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 There it is. Now the Y wing will fire. Looks like range two. It's going to be a double tab right there. Ooh, maybe not. Uh, they're not quite measuring that correctly. You got to go edge to edge. Calling a range two. Yep. One hit. Spending the target lock on that. Single hit. Got for two. two. Probably spends a calculate here. Saves yep. the damage. Spends one of his buddies' calculates. There it is. Saves one damage. And that was on orange. Correct. And then two hits from the double tap. One of eight takes one more. Takes that trade federation one. down. So it's going to be half. One. Uh, 13 points initial lead for Dwayne Lehman. Why is international address required? Oh, what? Now we are going in hard onto the uh, gunbow or onto the Jakku gunrunner. Range three from a primary weapon hit crit. He can spend that focus if he wants, but the crit will still stick and let the fuel leak go off. Spending the focus, one crit goes in. Uh, maybe. <laughs> mm. There it is, yep. So the crit that went in is console fire, and the fuel leak is going to go off. There's going to go ahead. A little confusion as to how fuel leak triggers, but there That's is that third checking. damage. So he's down to three down hull? Down to two hull. Two hull, excuse me. And the second crit is console fire. Second crit on there is console fire, by the way. Console fire? Mm-hmm. Energy shell charges coming Energy in from shells. the rearmost droid. Here we go. Obstructing going to dump some calculates. calculates. Yeah. Got to dump there. both of those. There you go. Hit crit. Two hits and a two crit. Hits in a crit. Yep. Uh, so we have a hit and a crit that goes through, and the Jakku Gunrunner will go down. Stream will confirm that was three. Yep. Dead man switch goes off. Yep. That and we'll Y wing's do a damage take... to the Y wing. Yep. Make sure they uh, remember the trigger. Then we got a range yep. two shot from Orange. One, One hit. hit. One, One evade. evade. Sometimes that's all you need. Jakku Gunrider firing into Maul. Range there two, it two is. hits. On the way out, doing some damage. Two damage. All of Maul's force will be back, but he's going to take one damage card in return. He's going to blow up. It looks like Nim might take that too. Yeah. Yeah, they're moving the base. Nim takes the damage, and, and the Y Wing y -wing takes the damage. Sure. Y Wing for sure. A dead man switch backfire. There we go. And the Y Wing as well, right? Yep, I, I did the Y Wing, didn't I? No. No? Yeah, I did. One more. No, you didn't. Uh, yeah, I did. <laughs> 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 Don't worry. I believe you. Oh, I did. <laughs> All right, so I think that Nick definitely eked out a victory in that initial engagement right there, coming out with a stronger position. Uh, only losing. He didn't actually lose that much damage off of 
off of Darth Maul, uh, regardless of him being mm -hmm. in a very sticky situation. So I definitely think he came out ahead there. Watt Does Tambor as well only lost one shield. Trade Federation down, drove down to one, but he didn't lose any ships versus Dwayne lost that all important Jakku Gunrunner. Mm -hmm. um, Maul probably 5Ks here. I think this, this, five this is a turn. You got, you got all yep. the space, and there's no way to get it blocked. So. All the space in the world, really. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is brilliant. So we're just talking about how, uh, how the Discord, uh, how missiles, the Discord work. missiles works. Remember, when you move over a Discord missile, yep. the Discord missile relocates either to your front or rear guides. It cannot overlap an obstacle in that way, but it can go right into either one of those guides. Uh, that way, I mean, if, if Nick decides to relocate those to the front, that, of course, means that you are you're, uh, that you're taking those next turn uh, at their initiative, which is zero yep, during and the then, engagement phase. Then you take that critical damage. Exactly. You just, you just take a critical damage. So now that that gunrunner is out of here, where do you think that Nick is going to focus his considerable firepower? Um, looking at his positioning... I mean, they're, those initial Maul's kind of in the way right. right now. Like normally, I would say, well, you go after Nim and Tarani next. You turn that way. Um, he might have to split up his formations. Let me take a take a peek up here. See, I don't, I still don't think that that's the wise maneuver right now. Hmm. I mean, it's possible yeah. we can see things like two banks from these two at the very and least. And then you do uh, you do a two bank with pink and just bump and be fine. Yeah, because you got, yeah, because you got, you got your calculate from Kraken still. And if those if these two clear, then you still have a pretty considerable bank of tokens to use. Mm -hmm. um, if if you're going if you're going for Nim and Tarani, I think that's the play combined with. Of course, the 5K yep. from Maul there, um, and then wherever Watt goes, that uh, that that's Watt's a bonus. Watt's a bonus. Uh, he really ship. is. <laughs> <laughs> Daryl Lack chat says he's pink. He'll be fine, and I absolutely <laughs> agree. <laughs> History has told us. History so. has proven pink <laughs> vulture droid will be fine. GSP Pancast. Speaking of GSP Pancast, uh, Gold Squadron podcast. We do tons of different uh, content. Every stream, almost every day, four days a week, coming. I don't know how I'll you have you, the time to do that. Th there's a fifth day coming, and there's a sixth day coming. There's not going to be a probably and on the seven. seventh day he rested. He rested, yes. So super excited about that. Round one tomorrow should start at 10 a.m. I will post that on Facebook and in Discord. If you're not part of our Discord, uh, come on, join us. Anybody can be a part of that exclamation point discord in the chat to get the link and uh, anybody can join there we talk all about x-wing and the paint cast we even talk about some non x-wing stuff in there we got a couple channels for that super fun so uh join us i also want to give a shout out to curled paw creatives using that coupon code denver19 for 20 percent off now how long will that code be valid <laughs> that goes up until monday monday yeah, Will it be valid on Tuesday? No, Asa. Don't. How <laughs> dare you? How dare you address the meme? No, it's not available on Tuesday. No emails. Even, you know, see now it's gotten to, to, to the point where now when people send me the email on Tuesday, I don't know if it's a legitimate question. Uh-huh. Like, do, do I send them a funny, rude response? Like, just, uh -huh. like, oh, we're joking. But if, it'd actually be somebody, if like... If you want to know if it's available on Tuesday, just send that inquiry to dankmemes at backtodials.com. Co correct. So there you go. You know, maybe you could just start answering all my emails. I'm just going to start forwarding them to you. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Now, see, here, here, Asa, this is what will happen, okay? I'm, I'm going to acquire the Back to Dials brand. Uh -huh. I'll buy you guys out. Okay. And then I'll just make that your job. To I'll answer gladly emails. be a subsidiary. There you go. Done. Boom. Back to Dials, a division of Gold Squadron Podcast Taking Incorporated. over the world. <laughs> 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 Would likely give us more prestige. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you tell Adam, he goes, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and with the only initiative ones left on the board, Nick's Trade Federation Drones will activate first. All righty. There's a three, three straight. straight. I don't hate that maneuver. Mm -mm. Try to get away in the way of, uh, of Nim and Tarani, get some blocks. Mm -hmm. 
just that three straight right there. Uh, is he going to calculate an attempt to link that to a barrel roll? I'm not mm. sure that he has the space. No, I don't think so. No. No, Maul's no in the way. way. Maul's always in the way. <laughs> always in the way. <sighs> Maul. With your crimson face. <laughs> Horns only a mother could love. And double lightsaber. <laughs> and double never lightsaber. forget the double lightsaber. Barrel rolling to the right, though. Maybe trying to create some space for Maul or the other drones, maybe? Is he going to try to K-turn or a sloop? For next turn? No, no. I'm talking about Maul this Maul. turn. A two sloop up towards the top of the board. It's a little risky, but he stays in the but fight. I don't, I don't think that the... the Trade Federation drone was in the way, though, no. of that. Though, I guess Maul would be in that drone's way if that's the plan. Uh -huh. That's true. Is, is he uh, Is he just trying? He might have just been trying to make them, get them closer together mm. uh, to keep the ball of calculates <laughs> the going. Ball, the ball of calculate, yes. Uh, yes, Mandalorian Baka, horns only a night sister would love. All right, flipping that dial. Looks like a turn, three oh, hard. Three turn, are we going to see? Uh, that is that is a riskier maneuver if uh, that Y-Wing does, in fact, pick up the Discord missiles and they are also touching. Good guy. The y, or they, are, if they cannot be relocated into the front guides without overlapping the other uh, well, the they Vulture would, droids. They would just go to the back, wouldn't they? They just go to the back, but then he's just going to shed them next turn. Truth. So you're going to get less use out of that Discord missile, although it's, you One know. One damage anyway? Maybe, I don't know. Now, which, which is the other one with the Discord missiles? It is pink, right? Yeah. Right there. Can that be launched with a three turn or just a three bank? We'll go ahead and, uh, and take a look. We have the power. Discord missile. Straight or banks? Straight or bank. Okay. No, uh, there's a 4K from the Y-Wing, though. Aggressive. Picks up. That and it'll end up going relocating to the, to the rear. Unless, Actually, unless it doesn't fit, because the, the bacon, pickle is the in bacon the way. Is in the way. Listen, on back to dial stream, it could be pickled. This is a bacon. This is gold squadron. We like bacon. <laughs> I ate. I ate bacon this morning. I can't eat bacon I right too now. Too much bacon. I'm gonna die. There it is in the rear. That does mean that he cannot shed it. <laughs> Come on. All right, so... <laughs> Dion, you can't get on my case without saying things on stream. <laughs> phrasing, Ace, <Asa>, of <laughs> phrasing. <laughs> All right, Wat Tambor coming in. It's going to be... Looks like a range two. He can boost in for range one, though, if mm -hmm. he wants it. And this is a good... This is a great play against the Y-Wing for Watt there. He's going to get the re-roll uh, for the calculating ship. There is there one. is the link for, for the boost. Although Orange is the one hole one, so the Y-Wing could definitely splash that before oh, yeah. it fires, before he has a chance. But Watt will get the shot first. Boost link to focus for range one. What did Maul do? What did you do? Well, because we got to get these other ships first, but... Yeah. Torani, is it a block? No, why would it be a block? He wouldn't have done that. Is 4K? That 4K, 4K? I'm thinking that that's a 4K. I mean, the, the lobster... And indeed, there goes the base spinning there around. Is. See, Adam Kemper's right here. He's got it. Bacon, ice cream, lobster claw. I have never eaten lobster in my life. You know that? I mean, I haven't either, but that's just because yeah. I don't like seafood. And I've lived in a Colorado landlocked state all my life, so it's hard to get good Truth. lobster. Ooh, blocking? Question mark? Perhaps I mean, is a the, two turn. The 5K and the two sloop actually both fit with that, unless he, unless he rolls. Rolls, yeah. He's thinking about it. I really like uh, about it. I really like Dwayne's positioning right there because he's got a really nice range one shot mm -hmm. to splash that. He's got a really nice range one shot to splash that. As we have seen, these Trade Federation drones can do a lot of work, can punch far above their price tag might suggest. And so to get rid of as much of that swarm as oh, possible yeah. would be a really good play for Dwayne, especially if he can take two of those down this round. Uh, regardless of what happens on Nick's side, I think that puts him solidly back into, a, uh, in, into the lead in the damage race here. Looking for numbers. They're on the other side. Oh, that's fine. Popping the target lock down onto Darth Maul. Maul, what'd you do, buddy? Example, there's the 5K. Mm, what you say? 
All right. What you K. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 5K here is going to have a range one shot into Nim. Not taking any return shots unless Kolda has range, which I no range two. I don't think so. It's, oh no, that's going to be in range. That's that's Nim is going to have arc on him. Oh, absolutely, range two shots. Maul will not get an opportunity to double tap. I believe that Kolda will be just out of range. There's Maul with a range one. Range one. It doesn't matter, but it's in the bullseye. But it's because it makes it feel better. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Nick, whoop. If it's out of the dice box, it is invalid. We have range one, three, three hits. hits, and one blank. That's Nim, baby. Swinging. Two hits. Two hits going into Maul. Kind of surprised he didn't spend the target lock there. But I, mean, I think he's, he's saving it for this dorsal. Dorsal turret. Uh, spend yeah, see, the there lock. There it is. Please and thank you. There it is. Yeah, it's one. one. I mean, one is one. <laughs> Still gets one it. One is one, right? No, uh, no focus results here for Nick. Not able to utilize that force on defense. Spent that target lock. Now Maul coming right back. Four dice into Captain Nim. Going to spend a force spend right there the for force. three hits. Spend it. Yeah, there there's no go. reason not to spend it right now. Gets the evade. Takes one two. Green. One evade. Shields down on Captain Nim. He's going to trigger Maul's ability. He's going to try for a double tap out on that Y wing. Now, it is important that to note that if you measure for it, you are declaring that you are triggering the ability. So the force would get spent force. first. Mm. <laughs> was just literally. Okay. Maybe he was checking the Y wing's range. I, I don't know. They've got Watt in the Y-Wing. Uh, four hits there. They are counting that shot as yeah. valid, even though we would love it to be in the dice box. One, two, three, four. Two damage cards. That was into the Y-Wing. And then the Y-Wing. Actually, you know what? There's a, there's a judge at the table, so. Yep. It, there's they're two not judges at the it. table. Yep. Uh, three Y-Wing, hits. three hits into that drone. Uh, he is down. Gone. But remember, he is not removed until the end of this phase, which is important in case he's got that battery of, uh, of calculates. He's not removed just yet. The double tap. Some misplay there. He's not removed just yet. The double tap from the turret could be used as orange that just beefed it. Uh, the double tap from that turret could use, uh, he, he could use the battery of calculates from mm -hmm. his dead buddy. Here we go. One hit. Just one hit. Got and it. he is fine. Pink, of course, proving to be just as invulnerable as we saw him last time. No arc there. Range one from green into Captain Nim. All right. I'm going to go ahead and spend. Spend the focus. Two uh, calculate excuse from me. each one of them. Take two more hits on Captain Nim. Half, half points there. It's a close yes, game it that just pushed Nick in the lead, 87 to 65. With 41 minutes left in the round, we are trading up and down. Uh, Nick, or uh, yeah, Nick taking early lead with then Dwayne coming right back overhead. He got some half points. It's a good game, man. This, this is a very, very lots good game. Of Discord back and forth. missiles now are going to go ahead and trigger. We're going to give that Y Wing a crit. a crit. There's nothing they can do about that one. Uh, what's the crit? Did we miss that? Where? Uh, they're going back to dials. They missed the Discord missiles. Let's just double check here. Engagement phase at your initiative. Each ship at range 0 to 1. It is not a May trigger, so let's go ahead and preserve that game state. Cut. Uh, they, they, ju they just caught it. They just, they just caught, caught it. it. They're Sorry. good. You got a good job. Got that cardio going. They just caught it, like, right now. <laughs> yep. Uh, could you tell us what the... Uh, make them put that crit in the dice box, though, so we can see what it was. Yeah, what is the crit? You could just say it out loud. We can hear you out over there. Yep. So we know it took a crit. Not sure what it is. It looks like a... Wounded pilot? Wounded pilot. Wounded pilot. I am a... 
there we go. That doesn't help. That doesn't help. Put it in the there we go. dice box. No, nope. yeah, oh, they're that close. Help. They're close. <laughs> so, doesn't help. They're so <laughs> bless their hearts. They're so helpful. <laughs> <laughs> bless their hearts. That is the perfect like. Oh. <laughs> oh. Do you think there's a, a, a clear positional advantage to either of the players right here? Let's let me let's get into game mode here. Um, positional advantage. I think that Dwayne's in the positional advantage right now. As we have well, Tarani's a, in a good. I really like Tarani's spot. Tarani just comes slowly over there. We could see a. Uh, excuse me. They don't have a K. They don't have. No, K don't have turns. a K turns. That, uh, that's, so we see nothing Nim, right there. That, Nim that's is in a weird part. spot. Nim is in a weird spot. The Y wing is in a good spot. One mm -hmm. forward. You one, one forward, forward to and you see what you got. Mm -hmm. Nim is the one that's in the weird spot here. Uh, part of me thinks that we should just see a, like a disengage down this way, rotate that turret to face the rear. Take a shot this turn and then re-engage next turn. I think we might also be seeing a seismic charge back here to prep this gas cloud because, of course, Captain Nim can hold that until it's an advantageous moment. Lock if it down. Watt does come into range of that gas cloud, uh, excuse me, come into range of that pickle, mm -hmm. then he can be triggered right away. Otherwise, yep. Nim can hold on to it until it's an advantageous moment. Sir, I will mute you if you call that a pickle again. <laughs> <laughs> I have the power. Hey, I can reach the stream deck no, too, buddy. No, then my buttons. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're saying is by calling it a pickle, I'm really pushing your buttons. Yes. <laughs> Dad jokes. Next level. Mm -hmm. Level 10. Pun is literally part of my name. <laughs> it's literally part of my middle name. I'm a, I'm a fine. I'm yes, a fan. perfect. Alrighty, so, um, yeah, I mean, players just kind of... Trying to find a spot. Where are these vulture droids going to go? They got the one case available to use. That I honestly does only to this that one, one right fits. there. Um, does the green vulture droid? That's this one right here. Does he just hard one to the left and threaten? I could definitely see something like that making a play for Tirani, like a one hard. Oh, that was a terrible one hard. A one hard from there, maybe a two or even a three hard turn there to get around Captain Nim. Keep them both facing or um, right in uh, next to each other to share yeah. those calculates. Um, and then fire a Discord missile into into Tarani Kolda right at the start there. Uh, I do think he does want to keep the pressure onto Nim on that Y wing or that Y wing if he can, but he's just not in a really great position unless. Perhaps just go the other way. We've got a one turn there. Before they three turn there. Y wing should be stressed. Y wing should be stressed. Thank you very much, Dion. Thank you very much, Dion, policeman. <laughs> Making absolutely sure that we have that game state preserved. Walked up, they're like, oh yeah, that is important. Yep. Yeah. Soon. That would freak people out. <laughs> oh no, what did we do? That's very next level soon. Uh, Nim, uh, here's another one. Pork tastes like chicken. Uh, y should have a stress. Nim moved his lock, so Watt shouldn't have it anymore. Didn't it? Yes, Nim moved his lock over to uh, to Maul last round. Unless that is that is not Tarani Kolda's lock because he spent that first round. So this lock on Watt Tambor should not be there anymore. Because? Because this was Captain Nim's lock, and he reacquired it on Maul. Which is when he was looking for it earlier. Which is he was yep. looking for earlier, yep. <laughs> be All right back. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> now we are seeing a seismic charge come back, right back there from the Y-Wing. There's Tarkalock coming off. Thank you. Great, great catch for us. 
Eaglet's see Nick did lose a ship. <laughs> and while he's there, just pulling the dice out of the box for us. Stickers? Welcome back, Dion. I'm, I'm back. Getting your cardio in today. Oh, I mean, I told you guys I'm, I'm trying to live healthy. Have, 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 have. I need that red button. All righty here. So we got the hard turn there from, um, like we talked about earlier, from that drone. And we're going to get barrel roll. And he is, in fact, going, going hard for Tarani right now instead of keeping the pressure on to Captain Nim. We'll see if that play pays off. Well, I like that he went as far back as possible, trying to open up the arc as much as he can, but also barrel rolling out most likely gives him out of uh, Tarani's arc if he went slow. For sure. I mean, I'm, I'm just more concerned about the, you know, strategic ramifications right. of going for a full health ship right now and, and keeping your and, and not... You know, not keeping the pressure on the captain Nim. Right, yeah. Because uh, he could have done he could have done very similar maneuvers just in the opposite direction there. Uh, kept the pressure on, and uh, we'll see, I mean we'll see if it pays off. We'll see if he really wants to have. Uh, so two forward. That's a blue that's going to relieve the stress. And you did, like you said earlier, we got that seismic charge primed on the bacon. So might uh, might see Wat Tambor uh, end up eating some damage there, depending on what he's doing. Let's go ahead and take a look. At his blue maneuvers, he's got the two banks, two forward and three forward. I mean, I'm guessing two bank to the left, most likely. I mean, part of me was thinking he might just do a one bank to keep chasing. Because he wouldn't be taking any, if he did that, he wouldn't be taking any fire. True. Um, True. And, so. and he would still be out of range. Exactly. Waiting on the action selection for the Y wing right here. Mm hmm. We will end today with a poll whether or not it's a pickle or bacon, Asa. That is happening during the giveaway section. All right, whatever you say. All right, and, and listen, if whatever they, whatever the chat says goes. Uh -huh. All right. All right. I agree. I, uh, I uh, agree. This is a dangerous you, precedent you to set, uh, but I agree to abide by the whims of Twitch chat. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if we had we had the option to add a add a add a result in there, they'd just choose soon to fail. Absolutely. So it won't be in there. Uh, there's a red barrel roll from the Y wing there. Interesting now because if Watt I'm does not, in fact do that to bank, I'm not sure the the purpose for that might be just to give Nim space but yeah with uh, a two turn he was going for the chase and it's not clearing the stress it's going to get hard he's going to get range one anyway yep no modifiers but <laughs> vader doesn't just people like vader don't need it uh there's tarani cola coming to bank blue we're definitely i think going to get that bullseye on the poor trade federation drone right there probably maul as well roger, depending on where he's heading roger So we have some questions in chat. Do the buzz droids go with the Y-Wing? No, not in this case. No. Uh, because he did not You have to overlap, overlap them, them each turn. Right. That's how that goes. And when it was set, the only place it could be set was in the back. Right. So that's just one of those situations where you almost, you never choose the back if you're giving somebody uh, Discord missiles. But in this case, that was his that was only, only option. And that, that was the reason for the barrel roll there for the Y-Wing is to give Nim space. Turning the arc to the right, making sure to get a shot. Range one there, dorsal turret into Wat Tambor. Indeed. I, you know, if I were Nim, I might have rotated that backwards um, to give him a little bit, a, a couple more options there. Maybe hit Maul or might some of those droids. There. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be a block. And I don't think some people are talking in the chat here about the seismic charges. It's not time to use the seismic charge. Yes, it would blow up the uh, the disc, the the buzz droids there, but the buzz droids literally are hurting no one right now. Right, they and they're probably they not going to be not going to be effective for the rest of the game. Yeah, they um, do not move. Yeah, so uh, absolutely, this is not this is the time for Nim to be holding on to that bomb, mm -hmm. not triggering it just yet. Wait until your opponent goes back down towards it. In fact, with the direction that Nim and Tarani are poised to go, they could be heading back towards there to bait Nick yep. back into that bomb. I also want to mention our other sponsor, Modest Orange Gaming, etsycom slash shop slash Modest Orange Gaming. Uh, we're going to show off their. Um, Conversion kit case that they've created, super awesome. They also got a tournament solution as well. You can check them out. Thank you for their support. 
for this weekend. And thank you to all the sponsors of the Gold Squad stream today. This, uh, mm -hmm. The actual round here sponsored by Curl Pod Creative. Use that code DENVER19 for 20% off. DENVER19 is the code for uh, discounts on all of our sponsors That's today. That's right. Curl Pod Creative, Modest Orange Gaming, here as we well as District Foundry. A complete whiff from Captain Nims. Dorsal turn into what? Feels bad. What? What? <laughs> what? Maul looking for a shot there. Forgetting he is actually touching. Uh, so he will be firing range two into Tarani Kilda. L uh, listen, no. Babadak, that was just for the, uh, just for this one situation, okay? <laughs> Don't get carried away. <laughs> Don't get carried away. One crit. And one folks is going to almost certainly spend a force there. Do it. There it is, hitting the crit. That was a crit. That was a crit. A crit. Two shields coming off Tarani. He's got some. He's got some beef to spare. Yep. Now let's check. Let's take a look at that overhead cam. I'm curious as to whether or not Tarani has the bullseye there on Maul. I oh, think yeah. he might. And he has no tokens. This is a fantastic shot. I think we're going to see Maul beef it. Yep. It's it's the time. He's going to pop his last cluster missiles. Well, second to last cluster missiles onto Darth Maul. Spending the target lock. Two hits. Two hits. So we're going to take at least one hit. And yep, there he is. He's just going to be able to pull he's that like, off. Ah, he's going to die anyway. Because he, he does evade one, takes one then from the missile, one more from Tarani's ability. Yep. And uh, he will trigger that onto the droid as well, who will remove one green calculate token. Yeah, Cluster missile, the, second the shot. The droid has to trigger it too, right? He did. He removed a calculate. He removed one of them. Okay, just a double check in. Mm-hmm. This is the cluster missile yep. uh, second shot because it was in range one. Whiff. And an absolute whiff there, but Tarani's ability is still going still to trigger. Active, gets and he rid has of that to remove one. That, that other And that token. matters, be well, I guess, not anymore. Kraken's off the board, so all the Kraken has right. got to leave. Never mind. Hit, hit, and crit. What? Into the White Wing. White Wing is going to go down. Hit, yep. hit, crit. Just trading shots here. 112 to 104. It's a nail biter. Yeah, he only put two damage cards on there. He did just hit him with hit, hit, yep. crit. White Wing is dead. More like Die Wing. Ha <laughs> ha. Get, 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 get. <laughs> We have a range one, I believe, from mm -hmm. that drone back on the Here Tarani. we go, Roger, Roger. Nothing. Oh, no, Oof. Roger. No Rogers were no, Roger. No Rogers were Roger. He's Rogered his last Roger. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then I do not believe that the other vulture has. No shot there. Mm-hmm. Pretty That's decisively no shot. Yeah. That bomb has been held by Nim. And so we will go back to Dials. Uh, Dwayne has done an excellent job of bringing this game back, I think. Even though Nick mm -hmm. is still ahead on points, 112 to 104. Dwayne feel like he's in the... in the. I feel like he's commanding this game at this point with some really, really good Tarani call to yeah. triggers. Um, we do have just some Trade Federation drones facing the wrong way here. As he and moves they are stressed. In, and they are stressed yep. as he moves in for a kill onto Watt. Who is also stressed and cannot effectively chase what I assume to be a talon roll Captain from Mr. Nim. Captain Nim. Yeah, I mean, you, you're going to take, you take Watt, you go after Tarani because that's your target of opportunity, but you're not happy about it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that's just the truth. And, that, and that's where I think we had a, a little bit of a misplay from Nick right there. If he was able to put the put the hurt onto Captain Nim, yep. as we saw, Watt did a really good job of actually taking out that higher gun. And with only four hull left on Captain Nim, we could have seen him go down as mm -hmm. well to two more droids. Uh, so I, I, think, I think keeping the pressure on would have served Nick just a little bit better. Um, not a lot that he could have done with them all there to get a shot, uh, to get a shot on Nim. But at the same time, 
All the calculates are gone, right? All the calculates are gone. Just double checking. Shenanigans on YouTube says Watts on second. Who's on first? <laughs> It's the end of the day. You expect I mean, the stream to degenerate co like this, don't correct, you? Correct, correct. <laughs> I mean, I will tell you that, like, I'm not nearly as bad as I am when I'm by myself. Yep. Because, like, I, I have to be significantly more engaged even. Mm -hmm. um, and, yeah, my brain is totally fried, usually by round six. Very high-quality commentating, usually round six. <laughs> telling you. Oof. That's why you've got your co-host here, Dio, to Thank keep you sane. I appreciate that. Very much so. Although this decal that Tim Dugan gave me really does stink. I am sorry about that. <laughs> John Ben Young, how is it going? Your name is Gideon Wolf. So I want to remind you guys that uh, we are doing giveaways at the end of this round, our last giveaways for the day. Well, we got more to come, trust me, for tomorrow. That's uh, when we bust out some more stuff. We're going to be setting some more goals. As you do see there at the bottom of the, of, the, of the screen, we have set a donation goal to try to cover the complete cost of the Atlanta system open. So uh, super excited about that. Round six today. Uh, we got 23 minutes left. Mm -hmm. We get to do our last round of giveaways for the day. And then it's dinner time. Super yeah. hungry. Yeah. I'm excited for that. I'm excited for dinner time. What is the, what's the dinner meta? That's what, what we really is the dinner what? meta? <laughs> Considering he just chewed up that hired gun. <laughs> wow, I thought I was bad. Yep. Have you ever watched my stream before, uh, yes. Dion? Yes, I have. <laughs> I feed off of Adam, it gets even worse. Oh, I'm sure. Alrighty, so... Uh, something important to note, actually, there was a question here, in chat. The, uh, the uh, energy shell charges on that Trade Federation drone are actually depleted. He fired those against the, uh, yes. the gun runner earlier today. Uh, two speed turn to yeah, the too hard, there. it's gonna go ahead and clear the stress. Just a little bit of a turn of a disengage and reloading. Uh, the energy, now that I just mentioned listen, that, of course. My not striking it out was prophetic, okay? <laughs> I knew it the whole time. Here we go. Uh, Watt most likely turning. Wait, All right, so we're going straight, straight maneuver. Looks, Looks like, like it's going to bump. bump. What was he thinking? I think he was trying to get over. But that will clear that stress. Tarani so called a Tur two banking. Tarani's going to put some pain into Watt Tambor. But even, like, I'm kind of confused by the three straight. I'm very there. confused by the three straight. Like, I, I'd like to pick Nick's brain and ask him what was the reason for that, maybe. Because mm -hmm. he, he had the two bank available to clear the stress and get past Nim, I believe. Right. He's going to go ahead and lay in that target lock once again onto Watt. Because e either way, he was going to get shot. He, like, even you might right. argue that he was trying to maybe arc dodge the uh, the dorsal turret mm -hmm. from Nim. Um, but, I mean. But here, come, here comes the three town roll. Now, if yeah. Nim goes far enough, uh, let's just take a look at this overhead here. Because if Nim goes far enough forward, he might be able to, and I think he does, double yeah. arc. There so, even is. though the. Uh, Two even range though the, one shots there. Exactly. He doesn't know what he's in for. ha <laughs> We got All a range right. one from Captain Nim, who should be stressed at this point. Uh, two hits of a great coming in. There it is. Watt Oof. taking all of those. What a shot. <laughs> and the crit is a fuel leak, I believe. That's a fuel leak for sure. It's basically a blank crit at this point. Uh, now, he did actually misplay that. Forget to check arc for that dorsal turret. To Ronnie there coming in with two hits and a crit. Doesn't need to spend the target lock to get the kill, but he will anyways. Three hits and a crit. What? A disaster for Nick losing that uh, last three attack die ship and just left with two droids on the board. And this is where holding that seismic charge is coming back into play because this droid is coming dangerously close to it as he goes around that rock. So he's going to have to be very, or sorry, excuse me, around that chili pepper. Uh, so he's going to be really, he's going to have to be really hard pressed to stay out of that pickles range.
Yes, indeed, chat. Nim is holding on to that bomb, mm -hmm. preventing it from detonating until the opportune moment. Which might not ever come, but you never know. Right. It's a threat there. It is important to note, though, that Nim can't quite chase after this drone effectively because of those Discord missiles right there. <laughs> Very true. You maybe take a one, one straight. That way, next turn, you have a bank available. His arc will still be wide. There's really nothing to be lost from yeah. that. You got two Trade Federation drones. Can they... I mean, Torani and Nim both have one agility. Only one agility, right? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I know it seems unlikely, but I always like to take a look at the wind conditions, even when somebody's really behind. Um, the fact that those ships do have only one agility give them an opportunity to at least do some damage. If you can avoid, you know, you, yes, you got to roll good dice. Avoid taking damage while while taking Nim out one turn, and then you just got to maybe have two drones versus Kolda, you have a shot that to win. Is, that is still a game, especially if you still have energy shell charges active. Maybe get a crucial crit in there with your Discord missiles. Um, it is still an uphill battle for Nick. But I believe at this point, Dwayne continues to hold a commanding lead in this game. There's another two turn from the Trade Federation drone. Coming in, we'll likely see a calculate. And we're going to barrel roll. Is there a link? Is he linking that barrel roll or not? Looks like he failed to link that. It's kind of a there it is. He's linking that pair. Linking that. That is kind of a uh, the dead Baron giving a kind of a cryptic message in uh, in chat uh -huh. right now. Yes, he does. I do, but I, I got it. I, oh, <laughs> <laughs> he's it's our British friend. Our British friend is trolling me. <laughs> he's sitting in front of me, giving me confusing messages. <laughs> All right, here's a one bank. Avoid to discord missiles. Just barely a good call. <laughs> Just barely. Yeah. Just barely a good call. Wow. Way to disrespect Sorry. our players. Oh, yes, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Absolutely. Can I have one of those just for my case and not waste it like this guy? Uh, can, can you, it. Could you, would you be able to like, rip it off? I'm going to take it home. Oh, yeah. Got to make it back to Chicago. Thanks, man. Nice. Very Nim cool. Nimble in the target lock on Droid Pink. We're going to see Droid Pink here. Uh, uh, right now. Hold on. I got to bring it up. It's pretty far. 109 out of 250. Yeah. Yeah. Got to shoot for the stars. Captain Nim spending the lock. Hit crit. On to uh, Trade Federation drone Pink. Pink there not pulling out his not same today. level he's, of amazingness. He's spending also did miss a Discord missile trigger right there. He still has his available. But then you don't get it to attack. You want to roll those dice. Do you not get to attack? Nope. Yeah, it is your attack. No, it's just, at the, it's just at the beginning of the engagement phase. Is it? Maybe I'm thinking yeah, about Yeah, you throw it out. Direct hit, though. He's down to one. And there's the dorsal turret trying to finish off Pink. Got it. Yeah, Pink now paying for his passed over confidence. Down in one round to Captain Nim. Now there is just one Trade Federation drone left. I think I think just Pink used up all the energy earlier. Yep. That's what happened. I mean, it was taking a break. Energy shell charges into Captain Nim. Going to go ahead and crit that with there the calculate. Is. Hit, crit, crit. Hey. That's what he this wants. This could do it. We got a direct hit in there. There's two crits. Yep. Hit there's first. two crits in there. Direct, direct hit. hit. There goes Off the Captain board. Nim. Can't, listen, that Trade Federation drone has full health. Absolutely. I don't think he's going to be able to overcome Tarani's Ace almost there's a full chance. health. You're saying there's a chance. I'm saying there's a very small chance. <laughs> and I love the plucky energy of those Trade Federation drones. But, man, they're in a real pickle right now. Sorry, they're in a real bacon right now. I roll. <laughs> I can't roll them <laughs> enough. The seismic charge does go off, Yes. by the way. 
immediately? Uh, uh, it would be at the end of the activation. Next activation phase. Yeah. Oh, the, the green is going to eat that seismic, isn't he? Oh. Oh, it's entirely possible. Yeah, if he if he comes in where, uh, you know, just kind of normally down this way, then yes, absolutely. That range one bubble around that pickle bacon, extending it to a pretty significant distance. Uh, Nim should be off the Nim board. Unless should did, be, did we did count we wrong? miscount? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I think he has one it hole seems left. Seems like we miscounted. We must have miscounted at some point. Excuse us. Never mind. I was excited. You know what? Green can still do it. I believe in green. I'm going for the underdog here. Maybe I'm just a little bit jaded. Why are you jaded? Because it's green. Who's hurt you? It's jade because it's green. Uh, and I'm cynical about not believing. <laughs> if I have to explain the bad joke, it's not funny anymore. I, I, well, well, you know what? That's my goal right now. It's just to make <laughs> just to you make seem me not, not funny. funny anymore. <laughs> okay, you're taking away the one thing that makes that makes me sleep at night <laughs> and laugh and smile. <laughs> All oh, right, let's see how it is. I'm sorry about misinforming there. That, that is, what, that's what actually a really good point. That missed Discord missile then really, really does hurt uh, because that would have been the last critical hit. Yep. Yeah, you can spend the calculate. You do have to spend the calculate, but yeah, mm -hmm. it's not an attack. Ah, man. Missed opportunity. Yep. Do you also, you know what? That is a good point. Bill Copperman here saying in the chat, maybe the, the calculate could have saved him. You never know, right? There's a situation. I'm going to hold it out for defense. Yep. All right, here comes the Trade Federation drone. Just I, I like this in hard three. It's gonna save him, I think, from that seismic charge if he decide if he elects to set it off. Ooh, that's close though. Facing down Tarani Kolda. Uh, Toronto's got him bullseyed again, man. Bullseye. We've got some pretty impeccable Tarani Kolda play from Dwayne Lehman there. Okay. <laughs> That's going to be a bump. Is he going to land on that Discord missile? I think he's going to land on that Discord missile. There he is. He's going to land on that. There it goes. The Discord, the buzz droid <laughs> the just buzz sitting there hanging gonna out. eat up Nim at the end, right here at Initiative Zero. Uh-huh. So here, you know what? Nim was destined to die anyway. Yes, indeed. Move it to the back. He's got, that's going to happen. Can't do anything about it. Though, you know what, though, because he's going to go anyway, he just lets, lets, lets the bomb Let go. Let that bomb off, yeah. yeah. He is, he's not going to, though. Again, make the right decision regardless of, of what's going to happen there. Two hits, one. I mean, regardless though, I of whether or not you spend that calculate, you're still taking one damage from this attack. I, that I think, though, letting go, go of the seismic is the right call because you end up giving him an extra damage. You maybe just going... Plus one damage. Next turn, he's going to move away, and it's not going to go off anyway. That's true, but he he might be he might be concerned that that buzz dro or that uh, drone is not actually in range. Did we uh, miss something there? Because that droid should have been able to fire to Ronnie. I feel like we should have seen something, but uh, oh, you can't spend in bullseyes. Sorry, I haven't seen. Kimo oh, on the table. you're absolutely right, because that's their chassis ability dead to. Right. Judge. Um, the Vulture Droid couldn't spend the green token because he's in Tarani's bullseye, so he should have plus Death one damage. Ability. Um, but no, he, cause then sp he then spent the green, he would have then spent the green token to avoid the uh, Tarani ability, because you can then do that. So it was one damage, it's one damage. It, anyway. it would be one damage either way, Never but mind. I feel like it would be a good idea to correct just in case. I mean, the, but, but don't, because it sure. doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Leave it alone. Sure. Leave it alone. Never mind. Button off. Red button off. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Yeah. We're all good. <laughs> yeah, we got it. Porks taste like chicken. You're right, they do. I actually really love porks because my daughter likes porks. So we got a bunch of pork stuff, and it reminds me of my daughter, so. Ken Cho makes the cut, District Foundry! <laughs> <laughs> makes the cut, misses the high five. <laughs> he, was, he's, he wasn't looking at the elbow. It's all about the elbow. 
Now, you do know you have to wear this shirt tomorrow, too. Oh, absolutely. I am not. I'm sorry. I... <laughs> See now he sees it. I still got I still got more, don't you worry. You do gotta wear that shirt tomorrow. Or at least put them on a new shirt and continue the yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry, Dion. You know I can't wash this, right? Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Alrighty. The Trade Federation drone that could uh is down to two hole, right? Down to two hall, yes indeed. <coughs> Got a two turn. Yeah, buzz droids don't two do talon rolls, Don't do me. anything to uh, to friendly ships. By the way, uh, to each ship that oh each enemy ship that they're touching. Right. right. Mm-hmm. Because they're they're in the, they're in the same network. You know what I mean? Indeed, their calculations have been networked. All right. So Tarani taking the bank over the rock. Just doesn't even want a chance hitting those droids. Nope. So it's going to get to roll dice here. Nothing. This bomb goes off. And we are going to see no damage. Is it going to hit the droids, though? Oh, they did not measure they for didn't it. didn't check it. Busted the pickle. Fast Walker Zero, Buzz Droids worth six points or Energy Shell Chargers better at four points. I'm a fan of Energy Shell Chargers. Yeah, they're just more predictable. Absolutely. They're more predictable. That's really what it comes down to. The Buzz Droids can be a lot more annoying, but the keyword there is can be. Mm -hmm. The Energy Shell Chargers are just consistent round to round. You can use them a lot more often than you can those Buzz Droids. This is one of those situations in this game where you saw, like, all oh, right, it did one damage one time, right? Uh huh. And. Because it had to be placed in the back in the scrum, it wasn't able to be effective. Right. Especially that vulture droids, which you usually have in swarms, you're going to have that situation where you have all ships all covered up. Uh, you're going to have the, the back arcs not being able to be placed, all that kind of stuff. Um, Discord missiles at six points. I think you go, go with the energy shells for sure. Is the congratulations District Foundry to Ken Cho right there. Five and one with dual Sith infiltrators. Now we have the range three shot from Tarani Kulda. Only one calculate token necessary to evade that attack. This is fine. Everything's fine. Range three, one. Range three, one hit. You're saying there's a chance? That's a Should have been a range three shot. Should have rolled one, one extra, more dice. right? One more dice. Give him a... All right. There's a big old crowd between us and the judges now. <laughs> Judge. Here. <sighs> Deal, and they're going over to uh, correct that game state. Yes, indeed, the sixth match of the day absolutely showing in some of the uh, some of the play that we see here. That's absolutely nothing wrong with that. S game six mistakes happen. One straight forward to from Tarani Kolda. We're going to see another round of repositioning. Rubens Dressy is going to go ahead and target lock. Oh, excuse me, go ahead and target lock uh, the Trade Federation drone. Whose energy shell charges are once again depleted. I'm just going to go ahead and correct that. There we go. Do you know if they're correcting that? So there we go. To Ronnie Kolda, one shield remaining. Thank you very much. All right, I'm back. Got to keep that game state. Yeah. 1K, I would assume, coming in here from the drone. Perhaps a two talon roll around that uh, chili pepper, but um, maybe. I like, uh, what are the turnaround moves that Tarani has available? Does he have a talon roll? Because if, if, if he has a talon roll, you want a talon roll to stay out of the bullseye. Right. 
there's the two talent roll coming in from the drone. No, no it's just a two does turn. Not, does not have a, a talent roll. He cannot clear the 4K though. I think that rock is in the way. Agreed. Time has been called for everybody else, but we do have a small time extension. Yeah. Reloading the energy shell charges once again. They're asked for this. We'll pop to Ronnie, back up one shield. There we go. All right, I'm back. The overlay is now correct. Oh, good. added the shield yeah. back? Added the shield, reloaded those energy shells. Don't worry. You, yeah. You've got important work <laughs> to be doing. <laughs> All right, so we got three minutes and change left in the round. Dwayne is in the driver's seat now. Absolutely. 173 to 140. You don't have to engage. You got all that hole. Half of Tarani is 30 points. Uh, Would not quite put no, Nick yeah. over. So he can risk even losing half of Tarani. He just can't lose the whole yeah. thing. And with three minutes left, uh, Nick just does not have the firepower to put that through. I'm usually a fan of risking it for the biscuit. This is not one of those times. Mm -mm. There's a barrel roll to the back, just trying to ensure that he's not going to be in range before he's prepared to fire the energy shell charges. Yep, he's holding them. Because, you know, a good crit here could be cra could could really swing the game. It, I mean, it absolutely could. We, we could definitely see something like the cascading crits. It's possible. Yep. I've seen it on stream before where a hull mm -hmm. breach into a direct hit, into a direct hit, just absolutely wrecks <laughs> a full health ship. <laughs> no. All right, we're going to get an engagement next turn. Tarani has one and two straights, I believe, to clear that. One, two, and three. All the one, straights two, I think he's just are gonna blue. Gun, I think he's just going to gun right for it. Three straight blue. Go ahead and clear that stress and angle for another bullseye. <laughs> Fly the vulture off the board to save him for later. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, there is actually a bug out maneuver for straight. So, if they're not paying attention to the time, it might just be him thinking he's just trying to get positioning, maybe. But he's fighting it out to the bitter end. Indeed. Never give up. Never surrender. And never lose sight of where that clock is. That, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, yep. And just a two straight. So make sure you guys Tarani, stick with us to the it. end of this round. We're doing some giveaways. Yes, we are. Dion has pulled out a fat stack right here. So we've got a lot of stuff as well as some unexpected giveaways entered last minute thanks to some of our local legends. One of the best crit tokens that I've ever seen in my life coming up for giveaway. Dials back down one minute, 20 seconds left in the round. This is probably going to be the last round, looking at the pace. I wish they're setting their dials, yeah. <laughs> Somebody's saying, I heard swag, I'm not sleeping. <laughs> oh, you only got about a minute to wait. This is a good question, Cynical Gaming asking, can you only win once per day? Um, yes. Yes. Yeah. To make it fair. Still running away to turn out. Just running that clock out, 30 seconds left. This tangle of arms. Yeah. <laughs> We're playing Twister on stream, baby. 
good game in there. Nick there hands it, it out is. to Dwayne. Congratulations to Dwayne Lehman winning round six, 173 to 140, and, and with a five and one record now, advancing to day two, which will start on stream tomorrow at 10 o'clock a.m. So please tune in for that. We're gonna have some phenomenal X-wing at day two of the Denver System Open. Yep. You said it all. I don't have anything else to say. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. So what I do have to say is let's stay tuned because we've got some <laughs> giveaways. we got some stuff. All right. Let's go ahead. and want to say thank you to our round sponsor, Curl Paw Creatives. Use that code DENVER19 for 20% off your order with a $15 minimum. Giveaways. Giveaways. Brought to let's you do this. by the 5-in-1 District, District Foundry. Use that coupon code DENVER19 to get 15% off. Should change of their that shot. coupon code to five and one. <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke, guys. We're not No, we're not going to do that. It's still <laughs> like Denver 19. Hey, Ken, we changed the code. Just want to let you know. Maybe there's a new secret discount code. Ooh. <laughs> Before <laughs> Just try whatever you can. <laughs> now, that disco code is Denver19, 15% off your order. He makes some fantastic stuff like these template trays that we've been showcasing all day and the hyperspace rings that will be given away tomorrow. That's another excellent reason beyond fantastic X-Wing to tune in tomorrow. That hyperspace ring uh, prototype, yep. the only way to get it right now is through a giveaway on the Gold Squadron podcast stream. That's just going to go right mm. on those ether mm. sprites. We did, we did get uh, some of the prototypes for the paint casts. Really? And we, uh, Luke just did an awesome repaint of a Plo Koon with an included thing. Oh, that is phenomenal. That is phenomenal. He's hot. <laughs> hot. Speaking of hot, we've got some cards. We, we got Speaking some stuff to give away. away. Yes. All righty. Is there so, a Finch? There's a Finch. There's a Finch. Okay, let's Finch do it. Finch is first. Finch is first. Here we go. we got some giveaways. Now, in order to participate in the giveaways, literally all you have to do is type in the chat. Um... Super easy. Anybody's eligible. Now, if you are a subscriber, you do have a better chance of winning. That's just how it goes. We got to give some type of benefits to, to you guys. Now, patrons, you guys also are going to be, uh, we're going to be doing a patron exclusive giveaway also at the end of this. So don't go away. And this is anybody who's been a patron. You have a chance to do this as well as we're going to do a new patron giveaway. So we got a new patron giveaway and legacy patron giveaway. So super excited for that. Uh, we'll do that in here in a few minutes, but let's get to our overall giveaways. Anybody watching here on Twitch? First, Finch is first. Obviously, it's tradition. <laughs> I, I, yeah, today. Absolutely. And forever now. <laughs> Finch is first. Whenever, when I run out of Finch, people are going to be like, where's the Finch? I didn't get my first Finch. Mm -hmm. Anyway, here we go. So remember, to if you win, exclamation point, win in the chat, click the link. Fully fill it out. I think I've I think I've solved all the bugs in the uh, in the chat in that excuse me in the win form. Hopefully, mm -hmm. but anyway, here we go. Three, two, one. The winner of the Finch is the Rocker Crocker. Congratulations! Oh. Exclamation point. Win. Post that up in chat. You'll get that now. Perfectly working link with all the information that you need. All right, one more Onyx Next Squadron, Onyx Iden, Squadron Iden. Iden. Here we go, three, two, one. The winner is Chillin' Guy 85. Chillin' Guy 85, fantastic to see you. Glad that you could make it out to watch this stream. Now, here is a, uh, a different, actually, you know what? Maybe we'll, eh, we'll do this one. So, you, you guys, you remember the Moralo, D, uh, Dion Moralo card? Mm -hmm. This is another variation from the same video. It's. Commander Morales. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Uh, there it is. So um, here we go. Who gets Commander Morales? Three, two, one. Wonder Nine Bread. Congratulations. Following since 2017. Thank oh, you very gee. much for your patronage. Wonder Nine Bread. And congratulations. Exclamation point win right in that chat. To get I your need prize. to look up when we, like, the first Twitch stream that we ever did under this name. And I wonder, like, who was the first person who followed us? Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm just curious to know. But until then, All what right. have we got next? This is from East Coast Gamers. We got a alt art whisper chasing down a Poe Dameron or a black one. Is it a Poe? We don't know. It could be in the end with black one. This is true. All right, who wins that? Three, two, two. one. MC Remix, three, four, three. Congratulations. That whisper card is yours. He got it. Andrew, we got news here. Andrew Knuckles. All the sponsors get into the cut. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. 
<laughs> wait, 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 actually, that's not true. We, uh, we don't know that. Modest Orange Gaming is here, too. Forgot about that. He's here. Right. Find out if it Evan Paul. Uh, Evan, Marcus did he make it? Mathis. Evan P. Evan P. Uh, until then. Yep. <laughs> All righty. Uh, Gold Sergeant Podcast, if you go into your followers, your oldest follower will be the very bottom of Twitch. Uh, might not be your list if you're the first one has unfollowed, but your longest one. Okay, cool. I'll look, awesome. I'll, yeah, we'll, you'll do that. We can, we can yeah. do that. So next one here, we have a How Runner. Oh, yes. This is that alt art. Now, this one's super fancy. Check, 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 what, check what's out on the back here. Full, full art, art, baby. I love those full art cards. It's always a treat to turn those over and just look at the art that people have made All right. for this game. So let's do that. Who's getting it? How Runner, three, two, one. Vincian Engineer, congratulations, Vincian Engineer. Comment, exclamation point, win, and you will get that now. We'll hold off for, for this one. Hold off uh, for that one. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So next we got a couple of things that were donated. We're, mm -hmm. We got here a Colorado Crit Token. <laughs> All right, Colorado Crit Token made by John Conley. One of our illustrious judges today. All right, here we go. Who gets that? Three, two, one. Mensa Nurse, congratulations. You get that Colorado Crit, crit the Colorado Crit Token. 20 seconds, you know who you are. <laughs> All right. Oh, people are handing me things to start giving away. I, I must. I cannot stop. Oh, yes. Oh, that's cool. All right. Next, we have a Pikachu crit. <laughs> Detective Pikachu crit. Here we go. The best crit token that I've ever seen in my life, also by John Conley. Now, there is a caveat to this crit token that I'm adding. Okay. Okay. If you win this, you must go seek Detective Pikachu and take a picture with it. Yes, okay? please. And you must take a picture with this and the Gold Squadron podcast sticker I'm going to send you with this. Okay. <laughs> At Detective Pikachu, I expect to see a stick it stub. Thank you. All right. <laughs> a stick it stub. A stick it stub. Here we go. Three, two, one. Roll it. Rolius the Great. Congratulations. Oh, you are now doomed to see P Detective Pikachu. <laughs> All right. Next. We have a couple of other a uh, couple other cards here that were handed to me. We have a dual-sided upgrade card. We have a uh, with two of these. We have Lone Wolf and Advanced Sensors. Check that out. That's pretty cool. Lone Wolf, right there. Advanced Sensors, right there. That's pretty cool. So double-sided Advanced mm -hmm. Sensors, uh, Lone Wolf. Let's go ahead and give those away. Yeah. Here we go for first, number one. First one is. Princess 627, congratulations once again, exclamation point win. And the next one is 321. Zenturion 89. Zenturion, that seems like a strong one. And the last one for today, I believe, just double checking, yes, last one for today is a another one of those another beautiful, one of those beautiful, Poe, beautiful Dameron's. Poe Dameron's. Here we go. Three, two, one. Roll it. Judy Allen, Jude Allen 91. I really hope I got that right. Jude Allen 91. <laughs> Congratulations. Exclamation point win. And that, I believe. That's that's all that's, that's everything. All she wrote for today, but that's, that's all of it. Come on back tomorrow. We have piles of stuff. I mean still more piles stuff. of stuff. So we're we're gonna be giving away the district foundy tray. We're gonna mm -hmm. be giving away um, the hyperspace ring. We have some other goodies that I uh, that are secret until tomorrow. I don't even know what they are. Nope, nope. We got that stretch goal. We we got our goals here, guys. So we got our sub goal right here. We're trying to hit that 250 mark. I know, I know, it's lofty. I know. I can hear you guys. Oh, that's really far away. Oh, we have to do the poll. Oh, we do have to. We do have the to poll. decide once and for all. All right. Well, here we go. We're done with Bacon giveaways. Or pickle. Let's go ahead and go to our Curl Paw Creatives wait screen. Okay. So uh, let's go ahead and do that poll. This is the the cloud, okay? That that the cloud. long one, the, the long, long one, That's the long and thin one. Okay, so this one, bacon, bacon or pickle? Or it's a pickle. Pick. Let's it's don't pickle. influence the people. Let them choose on their own. Otherwise, I'm gonna call voter fraud on you. Okay. Hey, I can campaign. I can campaign. You are past the line of voting. You can't cross <laughs> that line. Sir, all right, let's get that poll up. Should pop up on the screen. They go right one there. for bacon, oh, come on. two for pickle. Listen, we'll let them vote while we finish this up here. You can bacon. comment two for bacon, two for pickle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Not and true. we will settle this once and for all. I want to also thank uh, our sponsor, Modest Orange Gaming, uh, for giving us. This, we're going to be giving this away. This is awesome. This is a conversion kit holder. Your whole kit. Check out the pictures uh, on this too on this website. It's on Etsy shop. Etsy.com slash shop slash Modest Orange Gaming. Super awesome. You got all your tiles, all your dials, all tiles your cards. Dials. Everything you need to hold an entire conversion kit. Yes, it does fit an entire Rebel, Imperial, or Scum kit, which means it also holds the other ones as well. Indeed. And uh, they are stackable. Stackable. Stackable, absolutely. Um, to get that, honest, I, I, I really like that solution. Oh, yes, it was absolutely. Super cool. And uh, yeah, so we'll be back tomorrow. We got more giveaways. We're giving that away. Um, we got a couple of secret things, a couple of awesome shit. We, we were just showing it off. This thing's super cool. Did you make the cut? Did you make the cut? Oh. oh. So I was just saying, oh, did all of our sponsors make the cut? So yeah, two out of three. Two out of three. And you know what? Just just win. Just go 6-0 and tomorrow. 6-0. Just, just do it. Evan, just do it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. So we're going to be signing off for tonight. Is there anything I'm missing? You know, I think there's a pretty decisive bacon victory right there. 71 votes. 83% say bacon. Only 16% say Pickle. So, I agreed to abide by the rules of the Twitch chat. We have, we well have played, bacon. Sir. Well played, Dion. Bacon it is. Mm -hmm. That's fine. I'll have bacon here because I can't eat bacon. Yep. So I and don't stick scream. around. We'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Like, subscribe, Patreon, Twitch, YouTube. All that stuff. All the things. You guys know what to do. We have all that stuff. And uh, hit us up on Facebook. You know, we got all the social medias out there. We're about to start an Instagram. We were like, you should have an Instagram, Mike. You get faces like this on Instagram if you want it. You, anyway, whatever. Guys. You'd be an Instagram star, Dion. You think so? Absolutely. Perfect. Just add a like filter that. to that. Like a really aggressive filter to that. <laughs> People are like, Patreon? What's Patreon? Well, Patreon is, is the our number one group of supporters uh, that make everything happen is Patreon.com. Oh, wait. we got to do our Patreon-exclusive raffles. What am We're I doing? Guys. What am I doing? <laughs> Oh, I know. I was like, I, I trusted you, Asa, to remind me. I, it's Asa's fault. I'm blaming Asa. Not my Asa. Patreon. <laughs> All righty. Let me put these in the you have given that away already. Don't accidentally give it away box. So um, what we're going to be giving away is um, we're going to be doing one of the Frosted posts. Okay. Frosted post. Now this if you're not watching live, you still win it. See, here's the thing about patron exclusive raffles is that if you're not present, it's okay because you're a patron. I'm going to hook you up. All right? So I got I to gotta pull up my, uh, my Google Drive here. I got to pull up my, my new patron list as well. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, did you know that your phone doesn't charge if your battery pack's on it? 100% of the time. That is the case. Boom. That's a Carson Ray bro fist mm -hmm. right there. Carson, your decals smell gross. They're beautiful, but they smell gross. All righty, so here we go. Frosted Poe, new. <laughs> ah, my app just oh, crashed. fun. We do have plenty of space for hyperspace tomorrow, too. So if you haven't gotten all right, so um, as of today, we scooped up one, two, three, four, five, six new patrons today. We're going to go ahead and go Google a random number generator, okay? Random number generator, numbers one through six. Let's see who gets a Frosted Poe. Are you ready? I'm ready. Three, two, one. Frosted Poe goes to number two. two. Are we going two, two from the top or bottom? Bottom. Bottom. All right. Oh, I hit the bar. I hit the button. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Here we go. Wait. One, two, three. One, uh, two from the bottom. One, two. Go ahead and, and read that name. All right. You're just putting it on me. Benedict Hable. Benedict Hable. Congratulations. He joined the squad leader level, and you're going to be getting a frosted Poe. All right. Well, actually, you know what? He, he might not even be watching. I'm going to shoot him a message right now. Hey. You get a frosted Poe. Congratulations. Hey. Benedict, uh, I'm gonna, uh, uh, yeah, Benedict, you just won a patron raffle. Uh, I'm going to say giveaway, excuse me. 
give away. Ah, uh, hey, you know, we actually have something else. Judalin91 says he already has a Frosted Poe and wants us to raffle that off oh, again. Oh, oh, we can do that. We can do that. Who wins the new Frosted Poe? Uh, Benedict is watching. Benedict! Mandalorian Baca. You win! Woo, woo, woo. Well, you know what? Do me a favor. Save me some time and put your Not information. Exclamation point win. Exclamation point win. All right. Here we go. Three. Gonna raffle off that other uh, here, frosted poe. Other frosted poe. Yes. Three, <laughs> two, one. Corbett zero zero. Congratulations. Boom. You have won the gifted poe. The gi what a hero, Jude Allen. Thank you very much for gifting that back to some other lucky soul. Corbett zero zero. Comment and explanation point win. Get yourself right back in. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we need to go to the patron list. Loading. It's loading. <laughs> Come on. List takes so long to load because you have so many patrons. <laughs> All right, so this is how we do it uh, for the patron exclusive raffles. Uh, giveaway here, we go active patrons. So basically, we have 14 pages, okay? So we're going to start by a uh, random number generator, 1 to 14, okay? 14 pages. Generate. What's the number, Asa? Page number 9. All right, page number 9. We go and we find page number 9. That's 8. we got to go over because we got a little dot, dot, dot action. Number 9. Now, there's 50 on a page, I think. Yep, 50 on a page. And then we go 1 through 50. All right, what's the number? The number is 41. 41. All right, here we go. we got to count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. The winner is Mike. Who, who's the winner? Right there. Right there. Read it. Michael Gott. Congratulations. Michael Gott got a Frosted Poe. Extra Frosted Poe. Love Absolutely. It. All right. Is that everything? That's everything for today. Woo! Oof. Dion, it's been quite the day. Thank you very much for letting me come on with you. I will be back tomorrow with more X-Wing. We do have a lot of giveaways, but the main reason why you watch this stream is phenomenal X-Wing play, which we will see tomorrow as we come back to the top cut. Day two of the Denver System Open. Gold. Squadron. Podcast. No, you don't, put, you don't go Gold Squadron Podcast. Uh, you can't do that. Can't do that. It's back to dials out. No! <laughs> no! Gold Squadron out. Mute it now.